Alright, so despite my better judgment, I am going to play... This is going to... I am informing you right now. This is... Oops, what am I doing? This is my final... The finale. The last... Online video of Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 that I am going to do. And you may wonder, but Nate, why? Why, why? Because online for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is fucking terrible. And it's a waste of time. And it makes me hate my goddamn life. Hi, Dante. That seriously didn't even hit Dante? Like, really? Oh, that's was Strider. I thought I definitely thought that was Viper. I was mashing on that. Maybe she got me out of recovery, I guess. I don't know. I guess it was probably a bad idea to pick Zero. I haven't picked Zero in God knows how long. And obviously it's not working for me. Very nice hard drive. I definitely appreciate that. Saw it coming from a mile away. And online's like, dog, I don't... Okay, that I didn't see coming from a mile away. This is what I get for not playing against Viper ever. But yeah, thank you, online. All of this created by the wonderfulness that is online marvel you want to do something you better do it two seconds in advance motherfucker because otherwise you are getting your ass fucked and that's just that that's just i don't have anything to do against that so we're leaving immediately after this obviously well done to the dude that just bodied the shit out of me but dealing with viper bullshit i don't care <laughs> i mean like it's just it's literally do I get the first hit, or do you get the first hit? In that case, that's literally how that match goes. If I get the first hit, I damn well better kill that character, or I lose. If they get the first hit, I lose. That's that's that team. And that is obviously zero fun to play against. Like, that's why I basically, like, don't really care about this game anymore. In terms of, like, tournament shit. Because now everybody has realized that in tournament, you want to win? Motherfucker, you better be picking zero. You better have a zero team. You better have a Virgil team. You better have a Spencer. You know, you better have something. Dog, I ain't playing you. Go away. So it's like, I mean, you you have to. Now, that's, that's, not, that's not correct. You don't have to. But it makes life so much easier. Look at somebody like Patrick. If you're looking at, like, local people that are around me, the NorCal area. That dude always places high in every tournament he goes to. He never wins, and the reason why he doesn't win is because he's not a very good player. Now, I'm not hating on him. I'm not trying to, like, cause beef or something. I have no idea how he would even hear of this. But I'm not trying to cause beef. The only reason he ever gets that high is because he utilizes a team that can at any time beat anybody in a, sl in a set that's like a tournament set. You know, a first to three, a first to two, whatever. I can't remember who his third character is, but I know he uses Virgil Strider. And the fact of the matter is, when you have a combination like that, you can't beat anybody in this game. It doesn't matter who they are. I don't care if it's Filipino champ, Justin Wong, or if it's some dude that you've never fucking seen before, you never heard of before, just walked in off the street and was like, yo, let's play this game. You can beat anybody with a team like that because of the existence of X Factor. And so it's like, I don't want to deal with that shit. I love Marvel in a casual setting. When the two people are just playing, using characters they like, trying to have fun and shit, it's a great game and it is fun as hell and it is my favorite game in the world. But then you deal with people like that dude who has a team that is literally based around just getting that one hit, killing your character, and then doing Viper Unblockables all day. That's not fun. That's boring as shit once you, you know, it becomes a one-player game, as the commentators say. The second that shit happens, it's a one-player game after that. Once you get hit by zero, it becomes a one-player game until you manage to flip that coin correctly and you guess right on incoming mix-up. Same thing with Virgil. Like, that's not fun to me. At all. When you're dealing with, you know, like these tournament-ready teams like that. You know, these top three tournament teams. That's not fun. And so that's, and I mean, that's why, is because, like, everybody is left online now that still plays online. Oh, no, no, no. Everybody that's still left online uses shit like that. 
You know, like they're they're just using teams that are for online. They're not using teams because they enjoy the characters. They're not using they're using teams of characters that are online ready. That have online bullshit that they can do. Oh, that slide went further than expected, and I'm getting blown up for it. This dude's gonna beat me with my old team. What? You- what? You have a readily available, easily accessible level 5, and you TAC? What the fuck? Fuck off! Oh, that was supposed the little whirlwind. The little whirlwind was supposed to hit him. And it didn't. And I'm sad now. I never stop blocking. I never move the stick. I swear to all that is holy. To everybody, to all the fans out there in the world watching, I swear to God, I never move the stick. So how the fuck do I block? So obviously we're gonna leave this dude because I don't want to get bullshitted out by lag like that. How the fuck do I not move the stick at all? I don't change the positioning. I don't do anything. It stays exactly where it is. And I block the first high. And I don't block the second high. Please... Logically explain that to me. The only explanations are either A, I fucked up, which I didn't because I literally stared down at my hand. Like, what the fuck just happened there? Was that me? It wasn't. It was still in the same exact position. It was still in the up, not the up back. It was still in the back position. Go away. I'm not playing you. Go away. And so then the only other explanation is, hey, Online welcomes you with open fucking arms to fuck you over. And that's why this is the last Marvel video y'all gonna see. This might actually be the last video y'all see. Because honestly, I can't do online. I cannot do it with any fighting game ever. Persona is a very good online fighting game. Do not get me wrong. But the Xbox community is dead for that game. The I, I don't know how it's going on PS3. But the Xbox community there is dead. I can't find matches. It is hard as hell. And unfortunately, with my PS3, I actually checked it out. Uh, because I was thinking, you know, what if I'm not finding matches, um, because, like, my, you know what, like, the NAT settings, I don't know if they're called NAT settings or NAT settings, I assume NAT, because who would want to utilize, a, like, talking about their online connectability by discussing it like it's a bug? So anyway, so I checked the NAT settings out. I, like, I looked into it to see how I would find out what they are, etc., etc. My Xbox, perfectly fine. It's at the best setting available. Um, but for some reason, my PS3 is limited. It's, a, it's at two. Like, I guess one is the one you want to be at. All right, fine. We'll just go make our own shit. I mean, we'll go search for our own shit. You have NAT1, which is the one you want to be, which is just open to like everything. You have NAT2, which is what I am, which is not terrible, but it's limited. And you have NAT3, which is like, you just you you will hate your life, I guess, if you try to connect to anybody, because it just won't work. And that's as far as I understand. Oh, good God did No! I got tricked. I got tricked. I got tricksy. Ain't that just a sum of a bitch? But yeah, so for some reason, my PS3 is... NAT2. I don't know why. I have no understanding of how that works. I have no fucking clue how I would go about fixing that. So I guess I am just stuck. With it. Unfortunately. So like, even if I tried to play those games, I'm just, you know, I can't. I can't connect to anybody. That's why, like, I tried Blaze Blue and I couldn't find anybody, and now, like, I understand why. It's because I have limited connectivity. I don't know how to fix it. I am not tech savvy enough. Oh my good god damn. I am just going to like not let this dude perfect me. Does that count? I don't even know if like assist hitting counts. All I know is right now I am going to get the shit online out of me. 
All right, there. No perfect. Now we're done. I'm not playing in this connection, dude. A two-bar connection? Fuck no. That's why I hate this online. Like, you don't know. You have no idea what you're stepping into. The bars lie to you. They're full of shit, as, you ju as we all just fucking saw. Look at that right there, it just died. Man, that was so that was an awesome match. Nice show, that was very impressive. I'm impressed by your skills to do a motion, hit a button, and then hit another button moderately quickly. Nobody's ever done that before. You're the Marlin Pie of Hulk. Maybe it, well. I was just gonna say, maybe it would be impressive if, uh, because he had just done that shit in lag, but then I remembered, like, this dude, that's this dude's connection. That's this dude's connection. He plays in it. That's what we do. So welcome to the fucking world. Yeah, see, I pop in and it's immediately five bars. Why? Makes no fucking sense. That connection was nothing near five bars. There was nothing even moderately five barish about that shit. But I pop in, it's like, hey, five bars, play, and then they fuck me up the ass. Douchebags. But yeah, another thing of why this is probably gonna be the last Marvel video, go away. Just go away, you're stupid. Oh, it's zero bars this time. That's good. Um, but another reason is just I have so much other shit. Like, just other games that I want to play. It's not even other shit. Like, other life shit. I just have other games. I legitimately feel like Gamefly is a troll company. And why I say that is, uh, it's a little bit later now, since you'll be seeing... See, this dude's just a dumbass. This dude's stupid. He doesn't understand that he didn't have godlike mix of the one in that match. I just let go of the stick, and he was showing off afterwards, and now he doesn't understand that me sitting here not hitting ready does not mean... Oh, I'm just gonna give him a little time to think about what he's gonna do. No, it means I don't want to play you, dumbass. Shit. But anyway, so um, I mean, so GameFly, I have basically run through the very large amount of old games that I wanted to play. You know, like I, for those of you that don't know, I basically skipped like three generations. Was it three or was it two? I guess it's like two and a half of gaming. I got a Sega Genesis when I was a kid, and then from that point forward, I did not have consoles. I played, I got like all the Game Boy, all the different Game Boys, although I guess in that entire time it was just like, went from Game Boy Color to Game Boy Advance to like four different versions of the Game Boy Advance, but that's all I played. I didn't have any consoles. I didn't play the PS1, didn't play Dreamcast, didn't play Nintendo 64, I didn't play any of that shit. And then I won an OG Xbox. I mean, honestly, I may not even be a gamer if I had not won that Xbox. I may never have gotten one. Um, I won it at some, like, there was a sports convention thing, and there was, like, a snowboarding booth, and they had an Xbox and Amp set up, and you could enter a raffle, and I happened to win it, and that got me my Xbox, and that got me into gaming. So besides that Xbox, I didn't play any games. I didn't play, like I said, I didn't play any of the OG Nintendo games. I didn't play any of the OG Sony games. I skipped like, all that shit, actually, no. I skipped all that shit. I didn't play any of it. And so, just not recently, it's probably been about a year or two since I bought the PlayStation 2. And then, obviously, buying the Wii, uh, that opened up... Who do I want to use last? The Wii opened up, um, stuff, because it was backwards compatible with the GameCube, with GameCube games. So I ran through a bunch of games like that finally done with it all. So I've just been sitting for a while with no games out, and I've just had like five games in my queue that are fairly new that they haven't been sending me. And so then Borderlands 2 comes out. Two days after Borderlands 2, after like two weeks of not having any games, they goddamn well send me. They send me Sleeping Dogs and Darksiders 2 on the same damn day. Oh, I tried to do a light. Oh, that was supposed to be a grab. Uh, okay. I do not entirely understand that. 
Oh god, lag. That was supposed to be a grab too. Oh my god, the lag! Shit, that was supposed to be a grab and instead I got- Oh my god, that sucks. Oh wow, I cannot believe I blocked that. Nice push block that did not push him anywhere. I appreciate that. Oh wow, that was unsafe as shit. How did I not punish that? Oh, that was stupid of me to hit a button. I should have recognized what that was! You are way too far away for that to work, homie. It's supposed to be another air grab. I cannot air grab. That was supposed to be an air grab, too. Oops. Why does that work? Oh, man. I'm getting blown up because I don't know how to use these damn characters. Oh, my God. I finally fucking got an air grab. And then I fucked it up. right i know how to do that shit i actually didn't know if that was gonna work i have i am terrible at timing that shit oh i mistimed that so badly oh my god i mistimed that so badly oh wow i did not mistime that so badly oh my god fuck off lag Shit. Okay, so that's, I mean, I'm just getting lagged. I don't know if maybe my connection is getting shoddy. I don't know if, uh, if I just happen to get two bad players in a row, two bad connections in a row. I don't know. Let's end on the X-Factor Marvel comeback, and let's just be done. I mean, I'm sorry, dude. You seem like a decent human being and whatnot. I don't know anything about you. I ain't judging you. But you had a terrible connection, and I'm sorry that I had to win like that and leave like that. And now we're done with Marvel, because fuck this game online. God fucking damn it. I hate everything about it.